Food Truck Tuesdays. Discover the different kinds of tasty treats being served weekly at the Levy Event Plaza. I think it's great for the community because it brings everybody together and what better to bring people together than lots of food. <laughs> Bright Stars. The Irving Schools Foundation honors Irving students at its annual Breakfast with the Stars. It's been really incredible. This year we have the most new scholarships we've ever had. Uh, just with the community stepping up and saying, let's invest in our future, let's pay it forward. Powerful paintings. In Artist Studio, learn about the watercolors this local art teacher is showcasing at the Irving Art Center. There's something about the complete uh, transparency of watercolor um, and the fact that it's layers upon layers upon layers and all of those layers are very distinct. And in Feature Flicks, I review the thrilling new action comedy starring Ryan Gosling, The Fall Guy. Why me? You're a stuntman. No one's gonna notice whether you're here or not. No offense. I mean, some taken. Hello everyone, welcome to Irving Spotlight. I'm Susan Stevens. We begin tonight with a hearty grilled cheese sandwich and some one-of-a-kind donuts. Just two of the items the city's food truck extravaganza serves every Tuesday at this special event. Hear that sizzle? This is our very first Food Truck Tuesday at the Levy Event Plaza. Every single week we're going to have at least eight different types of food trucks out and it's a new lineup every week so we're so excited about it. We got Ruthie's Rolling Cafe. They do grilled cheese. We just here, you know, to show good customer service and, uh, you know, just serve the people. The broth, the slow cooked barbecue brisket is very flavorful. And how your taste buds doing backflips. Ain't ready to go. Look at that. Golden brown. And then we have Donut Envy, so freshly baked donuts, and they have amazing lemonade. We have hot, fresh mini donuts. We actually have a proprietary donut mix. It goes right through our little hopper. You can see them all coming out in the donut machine. And then we top them with lots of different toppings. So excited. Oh, unicorn's my favorite. I love this donut truck. Um, my mom works at different little events and they're always there. I love them. The city of Irving was really looking to utilize uh, the Levy Event Plaza a little bit more. It just was a perfect partnership. We organize it and the city hosts it. We'll only stop for Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve and then we're gonna kick right back up. I think it's great for the community because it brings everybody together and what better to bring people together than lots of food. We always go on walks during the week and now we know I think this is like an every Tuesday thing. So we'll definitely be back and trying out every single food truck because we just love that stuff. Believe me, you especially want to try one of Ruthie's grilled cheeses. They're so good. Another great meal is the one that was being served at this year's Breakfast with the Stars. But this event is about more than food. It's about our bright young students getting recognized for their high school achievements. MacArthur High School senior Albert Becerra has earned a number of scholarships and is being honored at the 37th annual Breakfast with the Stars. Albert will attend the University of Texas at Austin to study journalism. Though he's the one being recognized, he's giving credit to his teachers, uncle, and parents. Dad, you taught me to be the man I am today. You went from being my first ever soccer coach to, coach to coaching me through life. Mom, I promise I would not be in this situation I am today without you. If anything, you are the one who should be getting recognized and given an award. I love you so much. I'm so proud to be your son. Never ever stop being so gracious. That was beautiful. Let's hear it for Albert, everyone. Gratitude filled the room of the Urban Convention Center. It is such an emotional event. I have to choke back tears every single time because I've read their stories, I've read their essays, I know where they came from, I know the struggles they've overcome, and yet they're here crossing the stage, making amazing grades, going to incredible universities, and it's just a testament to their hard work and the support system they have. That support includes over $526,000 in scholarships awarded to the Irving ISD students. This year we have the most new scholarships we've ever had. Uh, just with the community stepping up and saying, let's invest in our future, let's pay it forward. I would like to thank my donors, the Mercer family, 
the David H. Brune Memorial Scholarship, and the Irving High School Be a Tiger in the Business World Scholarship. It feels kind of good because I remember coming here when I was in like fifth grade and I was here with choir and I was like, I'm never gonna, like that's never gonna be me, you know, like it's never gonna come and it, it did. I can't even thank the donors enough. I really do want to thank them because um, without them, I'll, I don't know, I don't know if I could actually pay for college. With those scholarships, these Irving students can pursue their dream careers. When I go to college, I want to study political science and then further my education into law and hopefully become an attorney one day. I just want to help further like the wrongfully accused. I would like to major in kinesiology um, and be a physical therapist. I want to do for others how others have done for me. Maybe you can't walk, I'm teaching you how to walk again or whatnot. I'm showing you like, this is a minor step back to a greater comeback. Empowering them to reach their fullest potential. From Irving stars to action stars, Ryan Gosling takes on his most thrilling role yet in Universal Pictures' newest comedy, The Fall Guy. It's best not to take this film too seriously. It's based on the 1981 television series and pays tribute to stunt work, taking full advantage of any opportunity for high-flying tricks. I'm just a stunt guy. Gosling plays Colt Seavers, a retired stuntman who quit the industry after a severe injury. He is pulled back into the job with the hopes of rekindling a romance with his ex-girlfriend Jody, who is now the director of a blockbuster film. The only problem is the star of the movie is missing, and Colt must find him before Jody's film is canned. One little wrinkle. The star of the movie, Tom, 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 Tom Raider, is missing. At first, the fall guy throws a lot at you at once. It takes a minute to find the groove of the film. But once the film finds its footing, audiences are in for a non-stop, electrifying good time filled with humor thanks to the witty dialogue by writers Drew Pierce and Glenn A. Larson. Through all the explosions and fight sequences, there's a gripping story about the typically unrecognized hard work of stuntmen and women. We're shown how they are repeatedly put into life-threatening situations for a quick, magical shot that's pivotal to a movie. But director David Leach takes this premise one step further by adding a romantic comedy element that only elevates the story. Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt dazzle on screen. The two of them surprisingly convey enough heart to charm audiences even while they're making you burst out laughing from their several comedic scenes. The Fall Guy is an exciting movie-going experience providing jaw-dropping action, lovable leads, a killer soundtrack, and ridiculous chaotic fun, making it the perfect popcorn flick. The Fall Guy is now playing. Check AMC, Irving Mall, and Alamo Drafthouse Cinema Las Cleanest for showtimes. From physical art to visual arts, in this edition of Artist Studio, we learn about an Irving High School art teacher's passion for painting and his work that's currently on display at the Irving Arts Center. The exhibit is called Pathways and Influences. And essentially what it is is just showcasing those merging pathways. There's some work that's completely non-objective, some work that is completely landscape, some works that have a little bit of elements of both. And essentially what I'm doing is just creating an image that I hope entices the viewer to understand their place as a cog in the wheel that we call this universe. There's something about the complete transparency of watercolor and the fact that it's layers upon layers upon layers and all of those layers are very distinct. I started doing art when I was a kid. When I was growing up, you know, they had these action figures that back then were quite expensive. Um, and I could, so my mother would take the comic books and on a piece of paper draw out an image of Batman and then have us color it in and then we cut those out and those would be our figures for the day. I thought that was the coolest thing. I went to UNT, double majored in art ed and drawing and painting and I ended up loving teaching. I don't know why, I did my student teaching and immediately was like, yeah, okay, I like this a lot. I got offered this job out of the blue. My professor passed my resume over to the then department chair and he offered me the advanced drawing courses, which was what I love, and I just couldn't pass it up. And I've been here, this is my 23rd year. I just love that ability that some people have to be able to visually illustrate what we just take for granted, that we can touch and feel and know, and be able to put that on to a two-dimensional surface, and just have that so that you can walk into it, that you can fall into it. 
Make sure you see John's work and the other exhibits on display before the Irving Art Center closes on June 1st through the summer for renovations. In the meantime, Levi Gomez, our man about town, continues to have some great suggestions of other fun things to do around the city. Enjoy some edible education at the Pinkies Up Tea Party. Learn how to make light snacks and enjoy an afternoon tea. It's for ages 8 and up at the West Irvine Public Library, May 25th at 2.30 p.m. Calling all foodies, presented by El Comité Cívico Centroamericano, El Festival de la Papusa will include delicious Central American food, dancing, music, vendors, and fun for the whole family. It's a great day for great eats here at Levy Event Plaza, May 26th, starting at noon. The Dallas Tattoo Festival offers a selection of over 200 of the world's best artists for three days of tattooing, buying merch, and more. It's a full weekend here at the Irving Convention Center from May 31st to June 2nd. Presented by the Black Arts Council, come celebrate Black Music History Month. Enjoy a tribute to Grammy-winning jazz artist Grover Washington Jr. featuring Fulton Turnage and Friends. This event will be held here at the Irving Arts Center June 1st at 7.30 p.m. Make the most out of patio season and join the Mandalay Canal Light Club. Experience the sound-activated light show sync to music with bites and libations available for purchase. It takes place June 5th and 6th from 5 to 9 p.m. here at the Mandalay Canal Walk in Las Colinas. The Irving Public Library wants to hear your stories on the impact the library has had on the community. You can pick up a form here at West or at any Irving Public Library location. Photos are welcome. And that wraps up this episode of Irving Spotlight. Join us next time as we visit Jackie Mae Townsville Elementary School during a surprise guest appearance from a movie star. And we celebrate Irving's diversity with music, dance, and food at this year's Fusion. As always, tell us stories you'd like to see on the show. You can email us at ictn at cityofirving.org or connect with us on social media. So subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on X and Instagram. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for tuning in and have a great evening. For Irving Spotlight, I'm Susan Stevens.